what are the benefits and drawbacks of caffeine? On the positive side, caffeine may improve your performance during endurance exercise. It may also boost weight loss by temporarily suppressing your appetite and helping your body make more energy when digesting food. Research from Johns Hopkins shows it also may sharpen your long-term memory. And one study found that caffeine applied directly to the skin of mice helped prevent UV light from causing skin cancer. Beverages that contain caffeine, like coffee, contain powerful antioxidants. There are some studies that show a lot of actually nutrition benefits to coffee. Various studies have found coffee consumption may lessen your risk of developing certain cancers, diabetes, stroke, Parkinson's disease, and other medical conditions. But too much caffeine can have negative consequences. I'm always aware of that caffeine can actually increase our anxiety and it can disrupt our sleep cycle. Caffeine may also affect fertility. According to a study published in the British Journal of Pharmacology, caffeine can reduce a woman's chances of becoming pregnant by about 27 percent. And women who consume caffeine during menopause are more likely to have hot flashes and night sweats. Experts generally recommend no more than 400 milligrams a day. That's about four eight ounce cups of coffee. Helping you understand the pros and cons of caffeine, I'm Marty Salt reporting.